Right, hello guys, and uh, welcome back to another synthesizer, analog synthesizer DIY basics tutorial from me. Uh, this is going to be a short video just to cover a very small topic, but in some ways can be quite an important topic. It's just to um, go through with you about the MIDI, or sorry, should I say the control voltage and gate to envelope. Um, inputting. Now what I have here is the Arturia Mini Brute as we can see and I've just got a small cheap meter here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go take this the octave all the way down to the bottom there and then I'm just going to set the correct range which will be about 20 volts because what we are looking for is basically a voltage between uh, 0 and 9 volts for our pitch CV. Now, if we just look on the, sorry for that flash in the screen, if we can just look at the the frequency there, I don't know if you can just about make that out. So at the moment, our bottom, very bottom key here, if we, if we, this is the C, and if we tap the C, that'll give us 0 volts, or 0 0.1 volts. Now if we go up to the next C1, we'll press C1, That'll give us 101, which is about, well, about should be about 32. It's not quite 100% calibrated properly yet, but that's about 30, about 32 hertz. And let's just bring up the Mini Brutes um, um, oscillator. So that's a, a lot more accurate than mine, to be honest with you. I'm just going to completely uh, cut the volume off my one. So if we bring up the Mini Brutes oscillator, so. see there, if we look at the red figure, it's about 32 hertz, and that's C2, and we have 101 volts, and if we go up to the next uh, octave, we should, we get 2.2 volts, which is giving me 65 hertz, we go up to 3.3 volts, which gives me 130, and now I'll just go up to... 4 volts has given me 200, about 261 so you can see how that increases exponentially so how I have what I've done is taken a stereo cable jack out and brought it into this input buffer here through this um, op amp I see it's not too critical what op amps you use on this one as long as um, as long as you measure what goes in is exactly what comes out because that's what you want to go into your exponential converter into the CV input so it's very important you make sure you check that because if there's any kind of drift or discrepancy in the uh, voltage out then you're going to get problems trying to calibrate your uh, oscillator and the second part I just wanted to go through with you was the gate again the same thing I've done is a stereo cable jack split the ends taken one to the positive side and the other side goes to earth or zero volts ground. Now if you notice here, I have a resistor. Now this resistor is green, blue, red, that's or green, blue, yellow, that's about 560k. Because if we measure, I'm gonna to go to the hot side of the uh, the gate. So this is from the gate output. What we get here. I press on the key is 12 volts. Now that 12 volts can cause a problem for some Eurorack gear and some other C, um, other synthesizer gear which re, which which takes a gate in. It kind of it's very much dependent on the maximum um, voltage of your your envelopes. So you kind of have to check that as per circuit really so that's why I've put a resistor in otherwise if I take the resistor out it goes a little bit a bit yeah a bit crazy and it, sometimes it actually doesn't work I've seen a few on a few forums people say oh it, my, my mini boots gate doesn't work so we've put a resistor in there now I'm going to go to the resisted side which is in series and then trigger the trigger the key again and if we see I've, I've taken that right down with that um, 
I've taken that voltage right down to something very, very small. You only need a very, very small voltage to trigger your gate. Again, this is something you can adjust to taste. You don't necessarily have to go for 560. That's just what I used, and I felt there was a safe value, and you know, the gate is working all good. So, there we have it. I'm going to be doing a few more tutorial videos very soon. Uh, covering a few other bits and pieces, I want to start going into the filters, etc. But there's a few things I want to kind of clear up with the oscillators at the moment. Anyway, thank you for watching, people. I hope this was useful, um, not just only for those who, um, if you if you want to try and build something like this, it's just a kind of it's a general as well. You can use you know a, a, a synthesizer with a pitch CV out and gate out to trigger pretty much anything as far as synthesizers are concerned as long as they have they can take that input and like I said don't don't forget to check your voltages very very important all right anyway uh, I'll be back soon thank you for watching